So, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use a DualShock or DualSense controller with Warzone. It's actually pretty difficult, honestly. It took me a long time to figure this out because half the time it wouldn't even work for me. Now I got it working smoothly, it's flawless, so I want to show you guys how to do it too because I think someone else might be having this problem. Anyway, so we're going to go here. I'll put the link in the description down below. And this is use your ps4 controller on your pc to its full potential right it's ds4 windows some of you may have heard of it but still have problems with it also works with bluetooth but it can have some latency but let's see here okay this is the program so basically what you're gonna have to do is download the program download the latest version just download the zip file here or whatever 64 So you have that, download. I'm not going to download it because I already have it, but let's see, once you have it, just open it up where you downloaded it, I got it here in my downloads, and then drag the program onto your desktop. Okay, once it's there, open up the program, and then from there, you have it all, everything you need. Open it up. I have it in my taskbar here. And once it's open, grab your controller. You can plug it in before it too, but just to make sure, especially for the first time, you should probably do it like this. Plug it in. Technical difficulties. <laughs> once it's in, I got my LED indicators. So I know it's working on the program. So you can set your color that you want right there. Use custom color, change it to whatever you want. All right. Anyway, so once you got this, I suggest keeping default because when you mess with other things, because Call of Duty can recognize a PlayStation controller if you have it set to it, but there's always some little problem finicky thing. So I just keep it on default so it recognizes it as a uh, Xbox controller. It's basically being emulated. And then go to Auto Profiles. So this helps a lot. And then hit Add Programs. This is what makes it work flawlessly, by the way. And then Add Directory. And go to your Call of Duty directory, wherever it is. If you don't know where it is, then you can open up. Blizzard or Battle.net Go to the game page and Then press settings show in folder Find out where it's located Some mine is in C drive program files Modern Warfare anyway So you go add programs add directory Modern Warfare Click it, select folder. Once you got all that in, it should work pretty flawlessly. And just to show you guys, I'm gonna go and load up the game. You can also close this, you know, like minimize it. You can set the settings where it minimizes to taskbar. So you shouldn't have a problem there. Uh, let's see. Game's loading up now. Now, before I ever did that, I would always have problems with it, like recognizing the controller. In the beginning here, you'd have to like make sure you're holding the controller, pressing all the buttons, hoping the game would recognize it. But with this, it seems to just work. I don't know how it took me this long to find this out, but damn. Click okay. so And as you can see here, I'm using the controller now. Okay. Everything works. Anyway, guys, 
that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please consider smashing that like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and get this video out to other people that may be having the problem as well. And thank you. Please consider subscribing. Subscribe or the Flying Spaghetti Monster will get you. Yes, it's real.